So anyway, my son has figured out how to get out of the sleep sack. Unzip the thing, right? So the other day I came in and he didn't have it on. He had the biggest grin on his face. He was so proud of himself and he was expecting me to give him the accolades like he did this great thing. And he was so proud of himself as much as I was like, oh no, he figured out how to get out of that thing. I had to be like, yeah, buddy, you did it. You figured out how to, that's great. You know, what am I going to do? It's better than the alternative, him just sitting there like, I can't figure it out. <laughs> You're like, oh no, he got my brain. I was hoping he was going to get my wife's brain. So fortunately got my wife's brain and um, he figured it out, right? So um, my wife was away this weekend at a wedding. And uh, so I had the kids. And of course, you know, people are fighting off colds and stuff. And um, so my son would get upset at night. So I would go in there. So I went in there and, you know, I brought in a bottle and I change him. And his pajama bottoms, you know, they were a little wet or whatever. So I, I didn't, and I wasn't going to rummage around trying to find some new, because you know, I'm in the dark, you know, when you get them up, you don't want to like talk to them and wake them up. You just sort of like, comforting them, you know, and then you're just doing it. And then you give them the bottle, put the sleep sack on, and then you're done, right? So I do the whole thing. I just put a diaper on and then put pajama bottoms on, right? So he goes to sleep. It works like a charm. I get a great night's sleep. And then I wake up. I hear him make a noise. So I go down the hall to go in there. And I go walking in there. And not only has he taken off the sleep sack, he also removed his diaper so he's sitting there, butt-ass naked from the waist down, same look on his face like, huh, I did it. Huh? <laughs> so I start cracking up. And then I'm like, oh, God, please tell me he didn't, make, he didn't pee the bed. Please tell me. Thank God he didn't. And I was just cracking up. Um, it was one of the best laughs I've had in a while, the look of, like, accomplishment on his face. And they're looking at you like, hey, huh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> so um I gotta tell you, man, we had an awesome weekend. Everybody obviously missed mom being around, but um we had a fucking great time. Nice and chill. It was just like uh what do you guys want for breakfast? You know? You know, I want this, I want that. I go, you know what? This I want to make some French toast. My daughter's like, I don't want French toast. French toast is yucky. I go, you never had it. She goes, no, oh, you know, collapses onto the floor. They always have those James Brown moments, you know, where you, you feel like you got to run over and put a cape around him. Uh, what was that song? Please, please, please. When he would sing that. Yeah, your kids do that. They just, just immediately. Jack, can I have a popsicle? Uh, not yet, buddy. You got to finish up your broccoli. Oh, they just fucking, <laughs> fucking like a building imploding. So, um, yeah, I found this quick little recipe and I made this French toast and, uh, I got to tell you something, total silence in the kitchen when they were eating. That's when you know you crushed it as a cook. All you hear is just fucking people chowing down and I fed some to my son. He never had French toast before and he ate it and looked at me and did like this big, you know, big cheesy smile. I'm like, all right, this is perfect. This is perfect. Then we watched a little bit of Bluey. I went outside, you know, I threw some pitches to my daughter. She was crushing it, the lefty, trying to hit it over the wall. Just really had a great weekend, man. Um, having said that, psych, my wife is back, so I can, uh, you know, share some of the duty here. But uh, it was a great, great, great time. 